Welcome to this episode of Toys Bag Zen. Today I'm going to show you a toy haul I got. Yes, the toy shows are back in full swing. And I got a bunch of stuff. Most of this is going to be stuff that I've been collecting for a while. And it's going to almost complete some stuff that I've been collecting. And some of it is new stuff, and some of it is just stuff I got really cheap so that I can uh, repair it. So I've got three bags here, and then I have a card. Actually, I have four bags. Let me grab the fourth bag. <clears throat> So first of all, I'll show you what I got. Finally got one of these. I saw these in Toys R Us, or I saw the tag for it in Toys R Us uh, a month and a half ago. And when I got there, I did manage to get some figures, but these were all gone. So a seller had this, and uh, it was cheaper than it was at Toys R Us when Toys R Us were selling them. So I picked it up. So I'll be open. I'll open this here in a, in a bit once I get some more room on the table. But let's uh, open up some more stuff. So that's going to be cool to check out. First seller I went to, uh, he had a bunch of vinyl figures, and let me get rid of some of these bags here. So next we have from Toy Story Four is uh, we have. Duke Kaboom. I do have his. Oh, let me get some more light going on here. I do have his uh, bike and the booster for his bike. Um, I mean, it's pretty much Evil Knievel. So I do have that, which is awesome. So I picked up the figure. I mean, what. <laughs> I probably won't keep it. I probably I just got him because I had the bike and the booster. But I just thought it was a cool thing. So from the same so I only got I got him for two bucks. Um and I think I got this figure here for two dollars. This is um a figure from the Captain Planet line. Don't see these too often. And uh, for $2, I didn't think I could go wrong. Um, I recognized it and uh, grabbed it. You can see like the symbol on, on the figure's um, chest. So I don't see these a lot very often in the wild. And for $2, I didn't think I could go wrong with that. And then from that was from the second seller I saw. From the first seller... Actually, this this was this is a Jurassic Park figure. I don't think I have this figure, and I wanted to get him, so I might actually have him. But because he was only, I think I got him for a dollar, so that was awesome. Uh, from the first seller, though, I got uh, this guy. I've got Ghostbusters. All of these figures are in pretty. Uh, not that great condition, but I think once they clean, once I clean them up, I think they will be pretty fun to have. I've got some. I don't have any Beetlejuice figures, and these guys are pretty. <laughs> they're not the greatest uh, in condition, but um, sometimes I just like to have. I got them really cheap. I think I got this whole lot for maybe like fifteen dollars. Here is another. This guy has got some marker on his head. Uh, Beetlejuice, another Beetlejuice figure. Looks like he's got lots of bullet holes in him. And I don't have any Beetlejuice figures, so, and I've been wanting to get some. <clears throat> Got 
another guy here, another Beetlejuice figure. He's got a little dial in the back. You can dial his head in 360 degrees. That's fun. <clears throat> What's this guy do? This guy just has bullet holes in him, I guess. Doesn't really have any action. But what the thing is the things that I was mostly excited about when I bought all these figures for fifteen I think they were fifteen, twenty dollars was the little um E. T. figures. I do have one of these E. T. figures. I think it might be this guy or he he's just he just has his hand up, but I don't think it's the I don't think he had a phone. So uh, this seller had a bunch of these E.T. figures. These little vinyls. They're kind of like the, back in the day, they had E.T. and they had strawberry shortcake vinyls and they had uh, Smurfs, which was the one that I collected as a kid. Uh, another seller that I came to, this one is in, ugh, it's disgusting. But uh, I think um, if you have been watching my videos in a, for a while, I have uh, 3D printed the canopy for these and, and wheels. And uh, this one has all the stickers and it's in really actually good condition. It's just super dirty. These are old. These are like from 1978. So these have been sitting in a box since then. They're disgusting. And they need to be cleaned. But I got those two Raiders. And then I got this. This is Battlestar Galactica also. Uh, it is missing a door. And it's missing uh, a piece here missing a piece here but I mean I got it for like a couple bucks eventually I'll find the parts and also I got um, this Masters of the Universe vehicle I have this vehicle already but it's got a broken tread here um, and uh, so I'm going to use the tread and uh, I might actually fix this one up because this one's actually in better condition than the one that I have. So I'm going to use both um, of those vehicles that I have and be able to make one out of it. If you want me to do a repair video on that he uh, Masters of the Universe He-Man vehicle, let me know. Maybe uh, I can find a way to complete it and fix it. Uh, in the next bag, I got some carded figures from a seller. They were selling, um, they were selling uh, these Star Trek figures. And I have a really pretty good collection of this stuff uh, by Playmates. These were made in the 90s, late 80s, early 90s, I believe. And I have quite a few of these. I got most of them in a toy haul from years ago. So I picked these up. Uh, the seller didn't want a lot for them. They're all carded, complete. So I got uh, this one here. Which one is this? This is... The Holodeck series and Deanna Troy as Durango. So she's on the Holodeck. And then I got these are just characters that I don't have. Then I got Captain Dathon. Here I'll show it. My table is getting full here, but I'll try to show what I got here. Major Kira. 
This is this Deep Space Nine uh, figure. These are all coming out of the packaging, all these Star Trek figures. I never leave the Star Trek figures in the packaging. They're so cheap, you can still buy them. But I think that these figures are amazing, actually. I really, really like these Star Trek figures. You can pick them up carded for like $5, sometimes even less than that. They're really worth it. Unlike these figures, these Star Trek figures here, uh, Lieutenant Commander da uh, Data by Galoob. These are always like super cheap too. And I think I already have this figure, but I picked it up uh, for somebody that I know and uh, I'm going to send it out to him. So kind of cool. These are cool figures. Unfortunately, they, their uh, phaser does not, uh, re you can't remove them out of their hands and they have a closed fist. But they do have a tricorder that you can put uh, over his shoulder. So you can, you find these carded all the time for really cheap. And then uh, probably some of my favorite things that I got today other than I really like the ET stuff, but these were in really pretty good condition, incomplete. But we've got some Bucky O'Hare figures, and uh, I do have uh, three Bucky O'Hare figures right now, but I didn't have these guys, and uh, these are probably the ones that I think are some of the best figures in the line. I like them because they're all different sizes. They're all the same scale, but they're different sizes. This guy's pretty tall. The alligator is pretty tall too. But they all have a little bit of a different height to them and a different body build, which is nice. I like figures that, that will do that. This one actually has the weapon and i didn't even know that it's priced the same as the other two so this is the dog this is the dog here and i got the weapon for him i'm assuming it's the correct weapon it was in the bag so that is a bonus that is a super bonus i don't even know if they realized it had the, the weapon in there I, I didn't even know it had the weapon so that is a bonus because it's hard to find them with the weapons. I might even actually have weapons for the other two somewhere. I'll have to look in my parts bin and see. I got one more thing. I bought it because it was only $5. And I'm not really a fan of the line. But the playset is kind of cool. So this is... I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it. Let me put it together first. I had to rearrange my table a little bit to get this fit in, but this is a hook raft kind of playset. Looks to me like it's complete. It's got uh, all the flags, and it's got the router and the wheels, and it's got the router mechanism. It has the little cart that it comes with, and uh, the guy wanted $5 for it. And, you know, the hook stuff, to me, I think it's not the greatest. <laughs> uh, the figures are terrible. Although I do have one or two figures, I think. Uh, I do have a couple of figures with it that in my collection, just because they came in lots. And uh, I like to kind of have a little bit of everything in my collection. I just thought it was really cool. I just like it. I'm not even going to probably use it for... For my hook figures, I'm going to probably put it in uh, some of my other lines that I have. Maybe my Bucky O'Hare uh, line would look cool with it. Or maybe, you know, um, who knows? You know what I mean? So I just think it's a really cool toy. It's, uh, you know, it feels like, it feels 90s. It feels like 90s plastic. Anyway, there's my toy haul. Let's take a look at the Battle Armor He-Man, actually. I'm going to pull some of this stuff together. Let's open it up. 
just for fun. Because I try to uh, review all the origin stuff, and I haven't gotten any origin stuff in a long time. So I'm going to do that right now. This is disgusting. i got to clean this. I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> Put that on the floor. And I'm going to be... I'm going to be putting that in the sink here in the next five, ten minutes after this video. Let's check out the Battle Armor He-Man. Open her up. So what I'm noticing about this figure is he does have an extra hand, which I love. Um, I'm not really a fan of the of the open hand so much. Uh, he's got the half of the sword. We'll put that in his hand. He's got the axe. Put that in his other hand. That's why it's nice to have that now he does have um, a spot on his back for his sword so I love that maybe that's why they gave you both hands so if you wanted to have it so that he's just got the one hand open and my thoughts on the figure so far is I actually do like the head I kind of I kind of like that. I like the look of his of his face. I just I, I like the sculpt of that. And of course, they gave you the original head. So if you want to pop that head off and put it on, you've got the vintage looking head. You open it up. And it works, just like the vintage one. Lots of articulation, um, you know. So that's why these are cool, is because the articulation on them is uh, way better than the vintage ones. And uh, that's why I like them. And they're just an update uh, to the original figures that we all love and were, that we played, played with as a kid. So there you go. That's my look at Battle Armor He-Man. And then you have uh, this. Yeah, you must use it for the sword. Seems to fit on the on the sword like that. It's really heavy though. There you go. So thanks for watching this episode of Toys Back Zen. Please like this video if you enjoyed what you see here. Comment down below. Let me know uh, what figures you think were the best ones that I picked up. Or if you remember anything and anything's nostalgic for you. I really like the E.T. figures, to tell you the truth. And I really like the uh, Bucky O'Hare figures, too. I think those are good finds. And... Um, yeah, uh, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.